Former Somali Prime Minister Omar Sharmarki has returned to Mogadishu after five years abroad. The strong-spoken statesman comes at a time when the nation's political crisis is again at a critical juncture. Opposition politicians are claiming that President Mohamed Formajo is rigging legislative polls. Some have even called to halt the process. Shamarki finished fourth in the first round of presidential polling in 2017. He served two stints as the country's prime minister before being replaced by Hassan Ali Khari when Formaggio took office. His father, Abdi Rashid Shamarki, was the country's first prime minister and second president. He was assassinated in 1969. Shomarki regularly dispenses his wisdom regarding Somali politics and security on his Twitter feed. He posted on November 28th, weighing in on the opposition complaints. To avoid disputed parliament, split country or worse, another Ethiopian syndrome, A. Discontinue this fixed electoral process. B. Reinstate fair election protocols as the August agreement led to this widespread manipulation. C. Include observer's mission to enhance credibility. He also commented recently on another hot topic, the standoff in Puntland between State President Saeed Denny and the commander of the state security forces, Denny Fired. The unfolding security situation in Puntland requires a peaceful solution. On similar security-related standoffs in the past, we were able to solve without resorting to armed conflict. The circumstances in which the whole country and the region are going through, wisdom must prevail. He was critical of the federal government for its involvement in another recent security crisis. His statement has to be interpreted as critical of Galmadug leader Ahmed Korkor as well, who forced the confrontation with the Alu Sunnah Waljama. It has been easier to reach out to and transform non-state armed groups with civilian history, political ideological, before resorting to arms. The FGS, however, was quick to use its elite units against ASWJ while Al-Shabaab's offensive in the very region was left with Galmaduk forces. Shamarki also posted his satisfaction with the International Court of Justice decision and then border dispute with Kenya. The situation came across his desk more than once while he was prime minister. In my view, the ICJ's ruling was both legal in its equidistant judgment and political in its equitable solution. Why ICJ made such decision is a matter of further discussions, however, from the two legal positions of parallel versus equidistant lines. Somalia largely won the case. It remains to be seen whether Shomarki will enter the political arena upon his return. Could he be a late entry in the presidential race? A choice for his old prime minister post from a new president? He could also enter the diplomatic corps as he served for a short time as the ambassador to the United States. ADN-TV will continue to report on political developments in Somalia.